हे वॉट्स अ बडी वेलकम बैक टू ट्रिक आई नो यूट्यूब चैनल मी आमिर हुसैन वंस मोर है ब्राउट यू समथिंग कैची समथिंग न्यू एंड अपडेटेड स्टफ टूडे इज वीडियो इज अबाउट रस बेरी पाई थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक बैंग गुड डॉट कॉम फॉर सेंडिंग मी दिस आइटम टू मेक अ रिव्यू ऑफ इट डू यू नो वॉट द रस बेरी पाई इज Raspberry Pi is the smallest computer in our planet. Yes guys, it's a smallest computer. This device also comes with a inbuilt CPU, inbuilt RAM and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Basically, Raspberry Pi is developed for teaching purpose to teach small children the basic of the computer. But these days Raspberry Pi turned into a fashion and people loving to use this device as a hacking machine as a programming platform as a projects like uh, control a robot control a sensor or fly a drone as a audio and video platform and very lovable thing you can use it as a gaming console so keep watching my video i am going to show you what the raspberry pi is how to set it up and how it's useful to us Let's get started. So guys, here is our Raspberry Pi 3 model B. Let me do a quick unboxing of it. We got a safety guide and Pi itself in a beautiful packet. Here is the Pi guys. Now going to do a quick hardware review. Well, in the left side we have four USB port and one ethernet port. While in the bottom we have power adapter point, HDMI port and an audio jack. We have micro SD card slot in the back of the Pi and in the top we have 40 GPIO pins to do real time projects and in the other side we have two expansion slots to add additional items. Our Raspberry Pi comes with 1.2 GHz quad core ARM Cortex processor with Broadcom video core 4 graphics processor, 1 GB of SD RAM, on board wireless LAN. and inbuilt bluetooth 4.0 now have a look on accessories i have 5 volt 2.5 ampere power adapter a sandisk ultra class 10 micro sd card an eyeball memory card reader a little cpu cooler for pi some tiny little heat sinks and a fan guard and a beautiful pi case to protect our pi You can order all this cool stuff from banggood.com. Just check out the link in the video description. Now it's time to set up our Raspberry Pi 3 starting with these heat sinks installation. Just take the big one and remove the plastic from it just like this and paste it on the CPU chip. Then give some gentle push to nicely fit it. Now paste the small one in the small chip just like this. Now we have this copper one left. Paste it in the back chip of the Pi. Our heat sink installation is successfully done. Now it's time to install our Pi case. It's a smooth case, but if you don't like smoothness, just remove the plastic from it by using a forceps. Now it's looking transparent and more glossy than before. Now going to set up our Raspberry Pi base. Maybe you will need a forehead screwdriver and a small plier. Now first apply all those screws in the each holes of the base. Now put all the washers on the screws and put the Pi on those screws like this. Now apply the nuts to fit our Raspberry Pi. Tight all of them. Then double tight them with the use of screw driver and the plier. Now our Raspberry Pi base is ready. Now it's time to set up our top with the CPU cooler. Now measure the top for fan adjustment. Then apply the fan from the back, maybe like this. then put the fan guard on top and lock them with the screws then fix them with the use of nuts do it one by one like this and make sure to double tight all of them now our top is ready 
Now it's time to plug our CPU cooler to the Pi. We have to plug in the 4th and the 6th pin of our Pi. Just like this. Watch it carefully. I have left one pin on that side. Just exactly do that. Now apply the side panel of the case. Now lock it with the top. Just like this. Try to push the wire inside the pie. Then one by one apply and lock all the sides of the pie case. Our Raspberry Pi assembling is almost done. Now see how it looks. It looks beautiful. Now come to the installation part of the video. In the order to run the Pi, you must have to install an operating system on your SD card. Just plug the SD card on your memory card reader and insert it in your laptop or PC. Welcome to my personal computer on which I work. This PC is specially built for video editing purpose. All for my viewers and subscribers. Now going to plug the card reader into my computer. Here the SD card detected. Just open the browser, search for Raspberry Pi on web. And here is the Raspberry Pi official website. Now go to downloads. Here is the official operating system which called Raspbian. There are two ways to install the operating system. First install it with noobs or install it with flash. Select this one because it's easily supported to the Raspberry Pi LCD. Now here is again two versions. This is the desktop version and this is the Linux based version. Download the complete desktop version via torrent or direct download. Because it's about 1.64 gigabytes. Now download the 7-zip file extractor from this website. Then download the itcher from itcher.io. Just click here to download. It's about 50 megabytes. Just download it. And the very useful thing memory card formatter. Just click on windows and accept the terms and download it. I have already downloaded these. Just check out the video description for links. Now right click on zip and through 7-zip extract the files here. It will extract the Raspbian image on the desktop. Just hit the OK button. Here the extraction is in progress. It will take few seconds. I am fast forwarding it to save time. Here is the extraction completed. Install the SD card formatter. I have already installed it. Now here select your select your memory card. Actually it's already selected. Just click on format. Then click on yes. Formatting completed. Now close it. Now install itcher. I have already installed it. Open it. Now you have to select the Raspbian image here. Just drag it like this. Now go to settings. Uncheck all the ticks from here. Come back. Your image file is selected. Your memory card is selected. Now click on flash. Itcher is the best image flashing software. It's recommended on Raspberry Pi website also. Now the flash is completed. Now you can close it and eject your SD card. Now insert the SD card on your Raspberry Pi 3. Now the Raspberry Pi got the Raspbian operating system. To operate the Raspberry Pi 3, you need a display, right? I have two PC monitors, one with HDMI and the other one is standard VGA. If you have this monitor, then it's great. But if you have this monitor, 
then no problem trick i know is here my main work is to fix problems just buy a vga to hdmi connector from the link given in the video description connect the vga cable to the connector like this tie the both screws and boom your vga cable is now a hdmi cable it doesn't even matter which monitor you have now banggood.com is a good website they also sent me these two boxes actually it's 5 inch hdmi display for raspberry pi with touch screen and this is 3.5 inch gpio based lcd touch screen for raspberry pi let me unbox it here is our lcd and here is the gpio connector opening the 5 inch lcd here is an another banggood sticker some screws and nuts and here is our 5 inch screen it's more bigger than the small one it's an hdmi lcd it can be operated by this tiny hdmi connector i will show you how to connect this lcd to the raspberry pi 3 but first i am going to start my raspberry pi with my big monitor connecting the power point from the 5 volt adapter and hdmi cable from my monitor and here is the wireless keyboard and mouse dongle now our pi is connected to the hdmi monitor and power adapter now it's time to switch it on pi started to boot up let's see how much time it's take to boot it's a real video i am not forwarding it to see the accurate boot time of the pi and here we go it took about uh, 15 seconds to start itself the user experience is also better it's like we are just using a regular desktop everything is working fine and very fast feeling very happy to use it all is like a regular pc and very good in the comparison of this beast pc it's looking very small and beautiful Now see what are the benefits of Raspbian OS. Welcome to the desktop. I am recording this screen by using this app. It's Voco screen. The recording may be slower than it looks, but you can see it in very neat and clear visual. Here you can organize your apps icons like a normal desktop. Here is the terminal. It's a Debian based Linux terminal. You can download and manage your applications from here. Now welcome to desktop preferences. Here you can change your wallpaper. Here you can adjust your menu bar size and position. You can change the fonts etc. Let me show you Raspberry Pi configuration. Here you can change your password, your username. You can change your desktop resolutions. You can enable and disable various hardware of the Raspberry Pi. You can adjust the GPU memory. You can change the time zone, Wi-Fi country, and even you can change the keyboard according to your country. As it have onboard Wi-Fi, you can connect your home Wi-Fi network here, or you can use your smartphone hotspot to connect internet. Here is a Chromium web browser on which you can email, you can learn or you can do shopping online and many more things. Now come to Delug. Delug is a torrenting software on which you can download big torrent files. Suppose you need to download the latest version of Kali Linux. You can download it via torrent. Just download the torrent file. then it will automatically open with delug just choose your destination and click on add here the download is started you can change the download destination to your usb drive or external hard drive etc the raspberry pi power consumption is very low you can download all night all day in very low cost of electricity in the comparison of this giant desktop for learning purpose 
Here are some pre-installed apps, BlueJay, Scratch and the popular one, the Python. And for official work, you have LibreOffice 5 to do Excel work and, and to create documents. It's almost same as our Microsoft Office. You can do all things here. And the best part is you can export it as PDF or you can export it as a doc file. Just go to file, click on save as, name your document and in all formats select this one and then save it. Now this file can be work on both Windows and Raspbian operating system. Here is the VLC media player which I have downloaded from the terminal. It's same as Windows. You can listen music and you can watch videos. Now gaming on Raspbian operating system. You have pre-installed Minecraft to play in the Raspbian. I have no idea to play Minecraft. Maybe some of you playing Minecraft. You know well how actually to play this game. You can also download games from terminal. I have downloaded Flare. It's a old age strategy game. I love strategy game. Flare is the most popular strategy game on Raspbian. Maybe one of you like this type of game. I have downloaded one more time pass game. It's a funny boat. You have to kill the sharks from the boat. You can download many games and applications from terminal. Just google how to download them. Now come to LCD installation of the Pi. Here is the 5 inch HDMI LCD. Just connect it like this. Then connect the tiny HDMI connector here. You have to give some push. Now 5 inch LCD installation is completed. Now have a look on 3.5 inch LCD. Same process. Just connect to the GPIO pins like this. Now you can make your Raspberry Pi portable by using a power bank. Just plug your power bank wire in power adapter point. But the LCD will not work by just plugging in it. You have to do some steps in Raspbian operating system. Here is the LCD documentation which I have created in LibreOffice 5. All you have to do open the terminal and you have to put these codes on the terminal and according to which LCD you have you have to put some additional codes from here and here is the last three lines if you want to switch back to your normal monitor just download this doc from the video description now copy paste the first line of this tutorial now paste the second line Make sure you have connected to the internet. Now paste the third and fourth line together and hit enter. Now if you have 3.5 inch GPIO display, copy this code, paste it in the terminal and hit enter. After that your Raspberry Pi will restart automatically. And in the next start, the display will be on your Pi LCD. Here it's started but now it's not visible in the monitor now your pi is completely portable and you can use the touch screen of this lcd you can browse internet with your mouse and keyboard you can read edit and mail your documents you can play minecraft and many more projects now to get back to the normal monitor just paste the last three line from the doc I have created. It will revert you back to the traditional monitor. Have a look on other operating systems. After using Raspbian, you will like to use Ubuntu Mate. Graphically, this operating system is more advanced than Raspbian. The best part of this operating system is its welcome screen. It allows you to learn how to get started. And uh, here is the software tab. You can direct download the most popular softwares from here without accessing the terminal. And here is the advanced control panel to manage your operating system. Here are some stylish themes. 
some light themes and some dark themes. For appearance you have pre-installed wallpapers and here are some fonts and here is the toolbar setting and as a web browser here is Mozilla Firefox. Now welcome to Kali Linux operating system on which you can learn ethical hacking and cyber security courses. Here is the Kali Linux terminal and again as a web browser here is Mozilla Firefox. Now welcome to OSMC, it's an open source media center on which you can watch high definition movies, videos and all type of media stuffs. All you need a USB drive or an external hard drive with your media files. Now I am going to plug my USB drive to the Raspberry Pi. Here is my USB drive. For copyright reason I am not playing any movies. Here are some 1080p 60 frame per second videos from my channel. This is the video about how to install external graphic card on laptop. This video is currently viral. You can watch it on my channel. Now going to play my gaming PC build video. Here it is. And here is a raw file which I have recorded in my DSLR. It's not edited. It's a directly recorded video. And here is the other one. It's also recorded by me. And I would like to make a new channel about uh, insects, wildlife and videos related to nature. Now here you can also watch your pictures. It's also visible here. Now in OSMC you can watch live TV. You have to do some configuration here. You can control your OSMC with your existing remotes. Which remotes already you have. And by doing some experiment you will access to the Amazon video and Netflix. Now welcome welcome welcome. This is RetroPie the gaming operating system on which you can play games from the multiple platforms. First you have to configure your gamepad according to this operating system. It's very easy just follow the instructions. After that you have to add some game roms. Here are some RetroPie settings. You can play Nintendo 64 games. Here is our favorite game, the Super Mario. And the game is in 3D, wow! I am enjoying this game. It's too cool. First time I am playing any Nintendo 64 games. Maybe some of you will like to play this game. And don't forget it's in 3D. Now going to play some NES games. It's Contra from Konami. I played this game thousand times in my childhood. I am remembering it. I am remembering it and it's a good experience. And still I know how to play it. Awesome experience guys. And here is my life Super Mario Brothers. I spent my all childhood by playing this game. This part of the video making me cry guys. This game was my whole life guys. This game, I played this game million times in my whole childhood guys. And I still know how to play this game. I am the gamer guys. I am the gamer. It's very 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 good experience for me. Feeling the same energy, same passion right now. Woo! Now I can play Aladdin also. This game is also from my childhood. And still I know how to play it. It's a Super Nintendo game. Now a game from PlayStation. Guess what? It's Tekken 3 guys. This is the most played game on big setups like big controller and big buttons selecting one of my favorite character that is Jin not played this game for a long time but I still remember some moves here is the copter shot now fighting with law a Bruce Lee character and here is my perfect all games are running very fast and smooth. 
I am very happy with RetroPi. So you can do all of these things with Raspberry Pi 3. Raspberry Pi is very useful thing for all of us. You can do thousands of projects with Raspberry Pi 3. Order your Raspberry Pi today. Use the coupon code given in the video description and get 12% off. If you have any questions about Raspberry Pi 3, let me know. Put your questions below in the comment box. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed, please like my video and share it with your friends and families. And if you are not my subscriber yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech updates like this. Thank you for watching Trick I Know YouTube channel. See you in my next video.